Hi everybody, my name is Giulia Rispoli and I'm a research scholar at the Max Planck Institute for the History of Science, where I am at the moment. Um, I work for Department 1, which is headed by Professor Jürgen Renn, uh, and we do many things in our department, but one of the primary research lines uh, concern uh, Anthropocene formations. So as a group, we uh, collectively address uh, science and technology history uh, as a driver uh, to Anthropocene formation, and we um, obviously uh, try to understand the impact of uh, human activities, the long-term impact of human activities on the Earth and its subsistence. Um, we have many projects ranging from the um, study of um, past and future energy transitions to uh, history of climate sciences and um, earth system science. There is one specific project that, it's, um, that is really relevant, I think, when it comes to uh, build interdisciplinarity, and that's a project that I'm co-running and co-organizing with my colleague uh, Christoph Rosso, uh, which is focused on the material and cultural history of the most important anthropogenic markers that are under investigation by the Anthropocene Working Group. And the Anthropocene Working Group is an international commission of geologists, earth scientists, and stratigraphers that are uh, committed uh, with assessing and formalizing the Anthropocene as a geological uh, unit um, in the geological uh, time scale, so basically as a new epoch. We uh, examine uh, the history of markers, um, the material sediments, like for instance microplastics or heavy metals or fly ashes, uh, but anthropogenic markers could also be um, biological indicators uh, such as um, species extinction or um, invasive species or migration um, or um, disruptions and changes in the biogeochemical cycles like for instance with the carbon cycle or the nitrogen cycle but taken together even though they um, belong to different realms taken to the, together this marker signal the all-encompassing impact of human activities and human industrial activities primarily on the Earth system and um, its reservoirs, like the biosphere, the lithosphere, the cryosphere, and of course the hydrosphere, uh, which is at the core of the next um, Anthropocene campus taking place uh, in Venice uh, next Monday. Um, and I'm really, really happy and, and, and proud and honored to be one of the co-organizers together with Professor Francesco Gonella and uh, Dr. Jonathan Rigier of a seminar, a week-long seminar, on system thinking for water politics. In this seminar, we seek to, um, to understand which kind of systemic perspective uh, and multi-layered uh, approach, methodological approach, is best suited um, to um, inform our view and our understanding of how complex systems work. And complex systems could be um, those um, events or phenomena like tipping points, for instance, soil erosion or sea level rise or deforestation, which can lead to uh, a cascade of other effects. And so we really need, uh, we really, I mean, comprehend how it's important to develop a methodology that is systemic and it's complex to match the complexity of uh, events and phenomena that are resulting from the interaction of so many different components that are situated at so many different levels. So I really look forward to an intense uh, week-long uh, discussion and debate and field work and um, sharing uh, and navigating across the lagoon. And I really can't wait to jump on a train uh, next Sunday and be in Venice with you all. Thank you very much. And that's all for now from me, from the Max Planck Institute. Cheers.